Hey Alex, uh, welcome to my channel and on today's video we're going to be doing some unboxing. What I was doing is, uh, I was editing a video, well I've been trying to edit it for two days now. It's just, uh, I don't have that much time uh, this time of the year, I got a lot of overtime and uh, working a couple other jobs, uh, trying to get some money to buy myself a nice kayak. And I went a little bit uh, over budget on my monthly fishing spending and ordered myself uh, a few new gears. But uh, that said, a few of the stuff that I got, uh, since I do a lot, I weigh the uh, river a lot. And I decided to buy a couple of these so I can uh, hook up my pliers and my uh, fish grips on them. So they're uh, always uh, handy instead of just putting it in my pockets and trying to take it off and sometimes just creates a huge mess. Uh, I'll leave the description where I got them and how much they were. I forgot I ordered these long time ago, but uh, uh, it was from Amazon. It's been over a month uh, since uh, I had to wait almost so a little bit over a month to get them. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, these uh, look pretty cool. I got a couple of them and I don't think it was very expensive. But like I said, I'll leave the link on the description. And recently I bought uh, uh, covers from my uh, shoes. So non, non, I forgot what they call non-stick grips or whatever. Basically what it was is uh, just rubber and on the bottom of the rubber it had something like uh, almost like a sandpaper and those are useless. I mean I paid 15, 15 dollars plus tax, let's say it was like 17, they are completely useless. Uh, I I probably shouldn't have thrown them out after using them for one day but uh, I could have shown you uh, how they look like. but. Uh, friend of mine had one of these, these are pretty awesome and they last a lot longer than uh, the ones that I had, the ones I had I used, the, they were good only for like first 20 minutes and the sandpaper part just fell off, but like I said uh, these work pretty well, I got them from Amazon, I believe they were less than 10 bucks, so pretty good deal and I'll give the best one for the end and I bought myself an auger because I don't have one and I didn't want to get an automatic one because um, maybe I'm going to go a couple of times on the ice and plus everyone I know has an auger so this one is just more for the quick trips when I want to make on the ice and the main event ocean I should say the main item that I purchased. Uh, I purchased the Garmin Striker 4. Uh, I looked it up online, had pretty good reviews. Also, I YouTubed it, of course. I saw a couple of YouTubers had it and they were pretty happy. And, well, I didn't open it yet. I, my wife just grabbed the boxes and just opened them. I want to do the full unboxing, but oh well. So. Let's see what we have inside. This is the unit. It's pretty cool. I got a battery and everything coming up. Uh, I guess I should have done the whole untagging uh, when everything was here, but I just couldn't wait. I'm a very impatient person, as uh, some of you might know. That's why I pretty much don't fish anything. I have hard time fishing uh, with slow baits. Always has to be a something moving. I don't know. I guess this is she go. There we go. Booklets, 
who reads the manuals anymore. I guess since I don't read the manuals, this way it takes me more time to put them together. These are the cables. I'm not sure what this is, but uh, I'll Google it. Of course, it's gonna see me in China. Anyway, there's one more cable. Oh, this is a transducer. That's it. No, oh, that's it. Got three bolts. Nice, these are for the bottom. Still more okay. okay. So, this is the transducer. I guess uh, I saw a video. You can mount this right on your uh, trolley motor. I wish I had the battery to test it, but uh, I guess I can do a part two. This one goes here. Kind of have to really push it in. I guess uh, I was reading about it. Uh, these are pretty. Uh, splash of proof and uh, you can use it on the rain and whatnot um, I was reading about it in uh, in one of the bass forms um, a guy dropped it for about five to ten minutes in the water and he just pulled it out and it was still working so that's pretty nice and neat I just don't get it this must be probably for the battery but there's four cables it's a little bit tricky. You gotta find no one it has so many of them. A zip tie. Just this is double sided tape. Absolutely no idea what this is for. Uh, probably. I guess this goes just like it. So, oh, okay, I see. This is why you should always read the manual. But I kind of like, uh, I guess you can say. Struggle. Probably just goes in the middle. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, up to it up. This uh, rower thing goes in the middle so the cable doesn't get uh, kinked or whatever. Now I can't put it back. No. Okay. I guess. It was two washers. So slip one on this end. Uh, also on this one, um, there is a kit that you can buy uh, where it becomes portable. And you can use it for ice fishing. And now you might say, 
hey, why would I just buy a beeper or eye bumper? Well, when you're on the ice, uh, my bird does have an eye bumper. Uh, I mean, uh, deeper. When you're on the ice and it's cold outside, guys, it drains your battery less than, I would say, an hour hour and a half max when you're uh, constantly uh, using it so it's not very practical well I think that's how it is and this just hooks up to the trolling motor and then you have your uh, nice and thick zip tie and this one pretty sure it goes somewhere oh it's it goes maybe no not here I don't know it goes somewhere that's why you gotta read the instructions well we go somewhere I'll figure out later and I got a rubber government and these. Yeah, I think these are pretty much uh, uh, once you install it, uh, when you're installing on your boat, I assume. So is the rubber piece. So it gives it a little bit shock observer type of deal. But yeah. Alright guys, this was pretty much it, um, stay tuned, I will have the battery in a couple of days, oh actually, today is the 10th, in about 16 days, we have a bash show that's uh, coming out to my area in Schaumburg, uh, last year I saw pretty sweet kayaks they were having, and they were in a pretty decent price, so I'm... I'm gonna get my kayak from there and I can I'll do a, a mounting video and that way once I hook it up and we can test it out uh, but uh, if you already have a Garmin and uh, Garmin Striker 4 I, I should say uh, let me know how you like it uh, well even if you don't like, like it I already bought it uh, let me know how how did you uh how should I say this? How should I put this in well um how did you mount it uh on your uh, kayak? Was it easy to set up and use? That's my uh that's what I'm trying to get at. And like I said I never used a fish finder before. So this will be the first. And thanks for watching guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, it does help me a lot. And also, um, recently I was emailed, am I gonna do 200 uh, subscriber giveaway? Well, not exactly. A um, few months ago, uh, when I did the 100 uh, subscriber giveaway, I said I'll do a 500 uh, subscriber giveaway. And one of the prizes is gonna be a Abu Garcia Rebel Beast, which I own and I love it. So, and the price dropped down on it uh, from, I, when I bought it was $4.99. So I said it would be $500 uh, uh, price. So I'll add uh, maybe a rod and a bunch of lures to it. So it will be a $500 uh, giveaway uh, for only one subscribe, uh, for one winner. It won't be two winners, just one. And that said, I'll add like, a, I'll edit the uh, fishing videos and I'll probably post them in by the weekend or right after the weekend. And that said, see you guys on the next one.